What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I want to make a quick video talking about microtransactions. Now take all of this with a grain of salt because most of all of this has been leaked info. So we're not sure if any of it is going to kind of come to light or not when the game is released. I'm hoping a little bit closer to release we'll get some more info about microtransactions. But to begin with, it was stated that microtransactions of course are going to be in the game. Loot boxes, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we all knew that was coming, but a lot of people uh, were leaking that there would be weapons within those supply drops as well. And that's one thing a lot of the community did not want. Personally, I do not want that either. Um, then, uh, since that leak came out, since the issues with the whole survival mode being on PS4 only for a year, they said Activision has started to back off on a lot of the stuff they're talking about with microtransactions. And now... The leak is that my uh, that Activision is going to be changing it up and making the loot box kind of idea cosmetic only. Now, this would be a great thing. I mean, I've always felt that that's the way it should be. I feel when it comes to weapons, if you purchase the game, I've said this a hundred times before in videos, if you've purchased the game, you should be able to get the weapons, uh, you know, without having to buy anything else or just have some kind of luck of the draw, you know, some RNG, whatever the case may be. I think if you've purchased the game, you should be able to get all the weapons that come with that, you know, with that game. Now, you can do something like I've talked about in a past video, like they did with Call of Duty World War II, have different events where you unlock stuff. I can understand that. I think they need to figure out a way to, if they're going to do that, a way to uh, implement some kind of type of currency within the system. That way, if you're not able to play all the time, maybe, you know, you can make in-game currency and you can go back and buy those weapons with an in-game currency. But either way... It seems like Activision's kind of backing off now uh, with the whole, or the leak is, the, you know, a lot of this info, like I said, you can take it with a grain of salt, but it seems like Activision's kind of backing off the whole weapons inside of loot box thing because of the uproar with all the other stuff going on. Hopefully that is the case. We did get promised this, don't forget, in Black Ops 4, you know, it was going to be cosmetic only. And Black Ops 4 did stay cosmetic only for a good while. Uh, then about six or seven months into the game's life cycle, that's when weapons started getting added into these loot boxes. This may be how this game starts. You all know it'll probably be several weeks to a month before we ever even see any type of loot box in game. Most time, mo mo most of the time, Call of Duty adds loot boxes and things like that in at a later date, not right on release. Now they could change it up this time, but we'll have to kind of wait and see. I'm hoping they can find a, a system that is fair and a system that is similar to kind of how Call of Duty World War II was. If they're going to do something, you know, kind of with loot boxes and unlocking weapons and things like that. Hopefully they can do something like that. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts about all of these rumors. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.